So when we talk about measuring length, there are two different tools we use. When we're measuring something that's short in length, we're going to use a metric ruler. And when we're measuring something that is long in length, we're going to use a meter stick. Now, when we talk about metric units, metric, we are not using inches, feet, yards, miles. No, no, no. We are using the metric units like millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometers. So you'll see the abbreviations I have behind here are all lowercase, and we have a double lowercase mm, cm, m, and km. So these are our metric units that we're going to be using here in science class this year. Hopping back over here to looking at the ruler versus the meter stick. Now, if you take a look at this ruler versus the meter stick, that's all a ruler is, is, excuse me, that's all a meter stick is, is a bunch of rulers put together. So if I were just to move this down to here, I got another ruler, I got another ruler, and they match up exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that back and take a look here. So right here from zero to one, that is one centimeter. Now you see all the tiny little dashes in between. There are 10 dashes between one, zero and one. So you can see one, two, three, four, and then a bigger one and then one, two, three, four, and then a bigger one, which gets you to one, which is telling you that there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. If you look up at this meter stick right above, it's exactly the same. There are 10 little dashes, millimeters for each centimeter, and it matches up perfectly as you go down. So, all of these conversions are in the base 10. So if I have 100 centimeters, how many meters do I have? Well, if I take a look at my meter stick, go all the way down to the end, 100 centimeters is one meter. Now what you need to think about is if there are 1,000 millimeters, how many meters do you have? 